since egg prices are up substantially year over year and Tesla's EV prices are down, I want to answer the question that I believe is on everyone's mind, and that's how many eggs does it take to buy a Tesla? So let's dive into the math and see how far those yolks can really stretch. Due to eggflation, yeah, I know that's kind of corny, but due to eggflation, eggs are actually more valuable than many national currencies. So I believe that this topic is actually worth exploring. And in addition, if one year ago you had invested $1 million in eggs, your investment would very well be worth nearly 60% more today, according to data from CNN. Heck, that's even better than Tesla stock. Okay, of course, those eggs would be rotten by now, and eggs don't really make a great currency, but nonetheless, you get the point. Okay, moving over to Tesla's price decreases. In a past video, uh, I talked about how Tesla recently drastically decreased the prices of the Model 3 and the Model Y in the China market, and also several other key markets. And yesterday, Tesla drastically reduced the prices of the Model 3, Model Y, S, and X in the United States market, in the North American market. And in addition, I saw that today Tesla has decreased the prices in the European market as well. Tesla has made some pretty drastic price decreases here. For instance, the long range all wheel drive or performance Model Y can be purchased for $13,000 less than before. In addition, with these new price decreases, Tesla has added a note on their website that certain Model 3 and Model Y variants, which means pretty much everything except the Model Y performance, do still qualify at least until March, as they see on their website, for up to a $7,500 US federal tax credit. So if you have enough income to actually have a liability of $7,500 or more and you qualify for that full credit, the actual net price after that credit for these vehicles is actually quite low. And for instance, you can actually get a long range all wheel drive Model Y after that tax credit for the equivalent of just under $46,000. Of course, this price doesn't include delivery fees and taxes, etc. But nonetheless, um, this is an amazing price for a great electric vehicle. And I'm excited to see these price decreases. If you're in the market for a Tesla Model S or X in the United States, you can also see here that Tesla reduced those prices quite a bit as well. Meanwhile, while Tesla's EV prices are going down, of course, you may have seen in the news, but egg prices are actually on their way up. According to the USDA's Egg Markets Overview, which is of course a riveting read that I definitely recommend you check out. As of this report that came out on January 6th, the California benchmark for large shell eggs was around $7.37 per dozen. Now note this is for the California market, which seems to be higher than the national average. And to kind of check this number, I did a quick search, uh, for instance, on the Amazon Whole Foods uh, fresh delivery prices for the uh, Los Angeles market. And you can definitely get eggs for cheaper than that, but if you go for a high quality organic pasture raised egg, those prices do seem to be about right. Now, while eggs may not meet the requirements for a currency or a good store of wealth because they're, for instance, fragile, they spoil, etc., that doesn't change the fact that eggs are becoming a very valuable commodity. And when I looked it up, eggs are actually worth more than many national currencies. I did a quick search on the Google currency calculator, and as you can see, going with that price of $7.37 per dozen in California from that USDA document, at 61 cents per egg, say for like a high quality organic egg, that price is actually nearing the conversion rate of the Australian dollar and is not too far off of the Canadian dollar, and that's worth more than the conversion rate for a Belize dollar, the Chinese yuan, or a Mexican peso. Now, when it comes to how many eggs it takes to buy a Tesla on average, you can see that these yolks are going further than before. With that old MSRP and before the tax credit, it took over 77,000 eggs to buy a Model 3 rear wheel drive. But now, thanks to that lower new MSRP and also uh, that new tax credit, those who qualify for that full tax credit can get a rear wheel drive Model 3 
for the equivalent of just under 60,000 eggs. That's of course for that 61 cents per egg calculation from the USDA for California. In addition, thanks to the tax credit, while the Model Y long range all wheel drive version would have cost over 108,000 eggs, that price is now down to just over 74,000 eggs. So with egg prices on the rise like that, maybe I should quit YouTube and become an egg farmer. All joking aside, I am excited to see Tesla's EV prices come down because it makes them more affordable for more people, especially with the US tax credit. In addition, this is going to bring the price of a used Tesla down substantially. And while that is a negative if you own a Tesla because you just lost a little bit of value in that car, uh, nonetheless, this does make EVs more accessible for more people, and it should allow for more internal combustion engine vehicles to be replaced. Yes, I do know that Tesla's profit margins are going to take a bit of a hit with these price reductions. However, Tesla had in the past very healthy uh, gross automotive margins, so I believe they can still be profitable even with these price decreases. And in fact, you also have Tesla's energy division looking like that's about to provide a good amount of profit percentage as well as I talked about in a past video, and that could make up some of the slack as well. At the end of the day, this fits within Tesla's mission of speeding up our transition to sustainable transportation. And once again, I'm excited to see Tesla's EVs become more affordable. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. And also, I want to say a special thank you to the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.